Hi everyone, it's Jessica. Welcome back. Today we're working on block 24 of the 2024 Scrappy Sampler. Let's get started. This is a really fun and quick block. So we're going to have four large squares in two different colors. So I have two of this color and two of another color. And then we need our white squares. And basically what we're almost going to be making is a diamond in the square, but we're leaving one corner off. You can start by putting your small square into any corner of the larger square, making sure it's aligned on the edges. And you're going to sew across the diagonal here. Okay, then after we cut the threads, we're going to trim leaving about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Now we're going to sew another corner on. And what we're going to do is, so this one's on, I'm gonna leave this one off and sew these two on. So we need three corners that are all next to each other and then one is left empty. It's gonna have this nice effect when we sew it together of these blocks coming together in a point. It's gonna look more difficult than it is, uh, but it's a really, really pretty block. Okay, and then the last square now, I'm going to sew on across from the one we just did. And then we will trim these off, leaving about a quarter of an inch. Okay, and this is what we're left with. So it's almost like a diamond in the square, one square short of that. So this is what it looks like. Now we need two units in this color, and I have that here, and then two units exactly made the same, but in another color. Okay, and we're gonna sew these together. This is going to form an X, like this, and it's gonna be so pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to lay one of these on top of this other block. I'm matching the points there, and then I'm matching the edges. Then we're going to repeat that process over here for this other side. And then we have one final seam to, to sew across the center of the block. Great. And this block's finished. This is a really quick one. But isn't it so pretty? I love the effect. I like how these come together. And this is an easy method to make that happen. And just like that, we have block 24. It's a really quick one. It's really fun, and I think the effect is so beautiful. If you have any questions on making this block, just let me know. And if not, I'll see you back here soon for another block. Thanks for following along.